everybody, Sean Tierney here. And in this episode of the Automation Minute, we're going to talk about the L7 Control Logics processor. And in this case, we happen to have an L73. Now, some cool things about this. First, like the communication cards, they added a uh, kind of a diagnostic display here uh, uh, to tell you, you know, what program's running in the processor, what's the status of the processor, is it faulted, and all kinds of good stuff. Very, very helpful. And it's Tremendously helpful, actually. It's surprising how great it is to have that display there. Just all kinds of information that scrolls across it, as well as, you know, the firmware it's currently running, etc. Uh, we also have a RON, a FOSS, an SD, and an OK LED. Then we have the same key that all of the control logics and even the uh, Slick 500s have. And then we have, uh, there's supposed to be a door here. I broke it. It's my fault. Um, this was one of the first models we got, and it was very tight. And when I pulled it off, I, I actually broke it. But there's usually a little plastic door here that covers this SD slot. And all of the L7s actually come with the SD card, and that SD card is used as non-volatile memory, as a double EEPROM uh, for the controller. So it has a backup uh, of the program. Also, so that you can send an update out to somebody if, uh, if uh, you're an OEM and you need to send a new program out to them. Um, the other thing you'll notice here is no more serial port. So if you like doing ASCII or DF1 out the serial port on the older processors, you lose that ability. But in exchange, you get this really cool USB port, which is plug and play. As long as you don't have an ancient version of RS Lynx, you plug this into your computer and Lynx finds it automatically. And you can program the processor, you can flash the processor, you can get to the backplane and set your Ethernet address of your Ethernet card. You can get to the backplane and go out the Ethernet card and get to your drives or your whatever you have on Ethernet and set them up as well. Um, you can go out the ViceNet and control net as well. I mean, it's great. It's an awesome thing to have. Um, a USB port. Kind of missed the serial port because it was cool too, but USB is just plug and play. As a matter of fact, I don't even mess with Boot P anymore. I go right in through this USB port and do everything. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, with that said too, there's no batteries on these new units. So finally, thank goodness, the batteries are gone. And uh, now, Rockwell just built in a big old capacitor, so I'm going to go ahead and push this button down. And there goes the key. I do that every time. <laughs> and you can see that this NG storage module comes out. And inside we have this big old capacitor and a looks like a charging circuit in there. And uh, this, uh, this comes with the uh, processor and um, replaces the need for a battery. So no more batteries, which is a great thing. I know there's a lot of restrictions on shipping batteries and flying batteries around and you know, changing batteries every couple of years or every year is, is, is expensive. Um, and so uh, this is a welcome, welcome change. Thank you, Rockwell. Um, here on the left-hand side, we can see the uh, label here. We got the pot number, 1756L73. We got, uh, as you can see, this uh, this uh, label's a little scratched up. We got the barcode number. We got the firmware and rev. Uh, we had the series over here. This is the Series A. We can see the manufacturing date right here and uh, other information. And, um, you know, just like the L6, this model, um, you buy it with the amount of memory you want, and that's it. You cannot upgrade, like an L1, L55, you cannot upgrade this guy's memory. So you buy it with the memory you need, and of course you can use the SD card for your, uh, which comes comes with the unit for your non-volatile memory, but uh, the memory in the unit is, uh, is, is what you get. So if you bought an L73, you need an L74, uh, contact your uh, local Rockwell representative, see if you can do a trade in to save some money on the upgrade, but you get what you get when you buy it. 